Ready to go. Just sort this rope out as I go. We are loaded up. We're going down a big cliff. It's a very slight platform down there that we're going to fish from. And I've got something in my bag that I'm going to sleep on tonight. You've probably seen it already in the thumbnail. But let's get down there and go fishing. I've been hanging out to do this for ages. Um, the weather is good. Let's go make this happen. It's going to be fun. Oh yeah, here we go. Just going to um, put a little backup on this one. A lot of you guys are like, what if someone comes and cuts your rope? And I'm like, well, freaking, what's the chances of that? But if someone comes and cuts my rope up there, I got this here. That's what I'll do today. Do need to pull the rest of that rope through here probably. And we'll get a glimpse of my ledge in a sec. Now it's starting to go. Oh yeah, over here a bit. Slight angle to the dangle. Oh, my rope's all wet at the end. It all went in the drink. Anyway, let's pull it up. There we go. It's better. And then we'll get this bit here. We shall just tie a few loopies in it. Oh, dolphins, pot of dolphins coming through right here. You guys seeing that? Of course you are. That's epic. I'll just tie this knot quick. Wow. That's awesome. Oh, I'm just getting excited looking at that water. Can't help myself. I just want to get a line in there. So good. There we go. So I've got my loop, which is there. We have some additional rope, which I'll run down here. That might go on the end of my cliff gaff or something. All right, we're all set up. Got belly in the water, cliff gaff's ready. I'm gonna throw a little plaque first up. It's a, on a one ounce jig head. Got the Ocean's Legacy Access Swivel there, so I can just swap it and change it easily. And a um, coconut ice plucky on PE3 Genesis Prototype Rod, 30 pound Tasline. As always, Tasline. Been using the stuff for years. Love it. Let's get a line in the water, see if we can catch something. We need dinner. Like, I got no dinner. So, um,. I never bring dinner. I've got a bowl of salad to go with whatever I catch, so hopefully we can get something good. It's really deep here, eh? It's one of the deepest spots I know. Uh, probably close to 30 meters in the right spots. A few shallower sections in there. Snagged, first cast. <laughs> That's oh, impressive. Do I retire or do I just go bait? That is the question. That is the question. All right, bait instead. Hopefully, I don't get snagged on this. I normally don't get snagged too much here though. 
Um, this is a new ride. I haven't tried this one yet. It's an aggressor, but it's a longer one than what's on the market. It's 8.8. .8. There's a few shorter ones already out. So I just dropped off the other one that I damaged the guide on, and this is got given this to try out. And I like it already. I liked it the moment I picked it up. I was like, hell yeah, that's good. I want one of them. <laughs> do I have something? If I do, it's tiny. What do we got? Oh, we got a fish. We do. <laughs> Small enough that I could barely tell. We got a brake sea cod. I think it was sitting on it. It just came up like a big dead weight. It's actually a good sized brake sea cod too. But um, on the heavy outfit, you're like, hey, do I have a fish? There you go. Second cast with some bait and we got dinner. Nothing massive, but literally that is all I need for a feed and one of my favorite eating fish. Anything after this is a bonus. We'll dispatch him, chuck him in the cooler bag and keep casting. Oh, a school of salmon. Look at this one. This school is so thick. Um, let me just, I'm just going to make this simple and effective. Cut the sinker off. Put the sinker there. Watch this, watch this. Hook up in, well now I just ate it. There we go. That's bait and uh, burly. <laughs> Gee, why are you taking drag? Must be a big salmon. Oh, it is too. Oh, that's a big salmon. This is a really big salmon. Oh, I haven't caught one in a while, but that's a fatty day. They didn't look that big down there. All right, here we go. Here we go. Absolute chunker of an Australian salmon right there. Um, he's bait and burly. I might actually do a catch and cook of one of these this salmon season, but um, we got brake sea cod tonight, so that's not on the menu. But really good bait and uh, good burly, and they're just like there's so many of them, they're such a plentiful fish when they come through, and they are not related to the Atlantic salmon. All the time when I'm catching these things and people are like, why don't you eat them? Salmon are amazing. Not these guys. They are edible, but they have nothing in common with the Atlantic salmon. All right, we'll lob it out again. Probably need that drag a fair bit tighter. It went all slack after that. Something really nailed it. All right, drop it back down. Should come back for it. I thought I might have picked it up and run for it. Yep, 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 yep. Ugh. That could be a snapper. What have we got? What have we got? Snapper! Yeah, nice. It's a nice little one. I can just drag up. Yes. That's awesome. Thought it might have been a snapper. <sighs> awesome fish. Don't know how big he is. Probably about 50 centimeters. Just a nice eating size. Snapper. Absolutely nailed the bait as they quite often do for me. 
and I uh, thought he'd just keep on going but I dragged him in all right let's see if we can get another one they are a schooling fish mate I could do very well here today very well indeed I got bait got lures I got time all the time in the world sit back relax and catch me a dozen snapper Fish on. Yep, fish on. Out wide. Not very big. Yeah, I think he's a reasonable size swallow. Yep, that's pretty good. That's a keeper. There we go, beautiful swallow tail. On the jig. Keeper. Add it to the bag. Getting a few fish. Happy days. I'm gonna go a bit of bait. Baity baity. Bronze fella fully got his tail out, his dorsal out of the water. Don't eat my bait, mate. I don't know how many sharks I have down here. It's either two or three or more. I've definitely seen two at a time and then I just saw one over here. Here he comes back. I oh, know they're circling around. Yeah, there's two there. Keen as they are. Come on. It's something. I hope it's not a weir and it's a Harley or something. What do we got? Brakesy. Oh yeah. Don't say no to that. It took a bit of weight down, eh? Must have gone with the wave. Good size Brakesy. So let me see. I think I'm only allowed one more Brakesy cut and I bag out on these guys. Um, but tomorrow is another day. I'm gonna set the portal edge up soon. Hey, it's a good session. It's a good session. I'm happy. Alright, let's get this thing up. I'm keen. Now I'm a bit like, oh crap. I gotta make myself a bed on the side of a cliff. Alright, portal ledge is up. It was a little bit of a prick of a thing, but I have never set one up on the side of a cliff before. Probably a good thing I wasn't like proper dangling, otherwise I might have got a bit frustrated, but show sure a bit of practice. Anyway, we got it to work. Let's see if we can catch some more fish. That's a good fish, I think. Big break sea. Yes. Mate, that could be a PB again. That's a huge break sea. Stoked on that. I would love to crack a 50 off the rocks one of these days. No, he's not a PB, he's a 42. He's up there though. <laughs> Wave spray in. That's a good break, see? Chunky. I'm happy. We're catching some good fish. I think I'm bagged out on break sea now, so hopefully you don't catch any more. Want some more snapper around, that'd be awesome. Anyway, put this one to the side. 
Got bed ready to go. Happy days. I think we're just going to pick out a good sized brake seat card. That one. Pull that one. This one's a bit stiffer, maybe. We'll go the slightly stiffer one. Get some water on all those things. Get out my cooking stuff. Kept it pretty simple. It's just got some snacks, gas burner, that sort of thing in there. Nothing much else. Let me see, we want that. We want that. We want that. Better have a lighter or I won't be having a f anything hot. I'll be eating cold. Lemon number one by Charbro Barbecue. I'm sure I'll be in here. I didn't bring panko, so this is what I have to do. That's my seasoning. I didn't bring salt and pepper either. Alright, this is going to be very interesting. Pretty much going to try wedge my gas cylinder in here. Oh yeah, look at that. Straight up. I don't know. We'll make it work. It might just be a hold it and cook operation. I'm stoked I got that wedged in there. It's pretty windy out there. I think this would just blow out in most places. There we go. Bit of, bit of knee work there. out again now I don't know what the time is it's probably only five o'clock but I was up until one o'clock last night um, oh and I've got the best view I mean this is an amazing view and I was just looking that way and just this water just goes out from that crack we'll probably send the drone out I reckon you guys will get to see it then oh it's epic just launched again I'm gonna eat this first myself but I uh, have another cast or two I'm just trying to decide what I want to cast in I might go the jig again we'll work the jig a bit more so uh, I can just slide away into this and go to sleep this 
is so awesome. Awesome, mate. Loving it. How's that? Laying back, watching the sunset. Kinda need a pillow. I don't know, maybe some random crap in there. Oh, that kinda works. I might just adjust its location. I can use that as a pillow, it's pretty good. I think I'll sleep like a baby. I usually do, to be honest. Um, I can sleep anywhere. Yeah, this is awesome. Oh, I can take my PFD off as well. Oh, I'll sleep. I might as well. Take it off, clip it next to me. Anyway, see you guys in the morning. See what we can catch in the morning. Morning. I've just been hiding under this. It's a bit of mozzie net. A few mozzies out. Oh, this is actually really quite comfortable. Anyway, we're going to get up, get some burley in the water. Might fillet my fish from yesterday and um, we'll get casting. Oh, what a spot to wake up, eh? If you do put too much weight in the wrong spot on it, it just goes and just folds flat, I've discovered, which really does suck. Man, it's nice this morning. Much nicer. Bombs away. <laughs> Birds are trying to get it. Oh yeah. There we go. Now we're on the bottom. It's deep down there, eh? That's that? That's probably a wobby. If I'm not snagged. Oh. Yeah, it's... <sighs> oh, yeah, it's a wobby. <sighs> I hope it's a Jewfish and I'm completely wrong. on the barnacles there. Oh, what happened? He bit me off. Yeah. Bit me off. Oh. Yeah, it would have been a massive big wobby. Wobby gong shark the way he was fighting. It's all right, I didn't want to land him. Punk. That's a fish. Oh yeah, that's, I don't think that's a wobby. Oh, it could be, I don't know. Oh, I've dropped it. Might have been a wobby. I don't know. Had a bit more go to it, eh? Not just a heavy weight like the other one. 
I guess they can fight sometimes. Got a bit of squid this time. Fish. Just grabbed it and went. Oh, that's a good fish. Snapper, I reckon. Typical snapper. Was not ready for that. Good fish, bit of squid, got slammed. What do we got? We got a shark on it. It's definitely a snapper. Oh, my sinker was caught. I was like, what's going on? That's heavier than he looks. <sighs> Bigger than yesterday's. It's a good fish. Oh, and I saw a shark follow him up. Yeah, that's a proper snapper. Nice. Oh. Oh, mate. There we go. Awesome snapper. Casted out. You see the bait still dangling there. A bit of squid. He just nailed it and kept on going. Shark followed him up, which made me a bit nervous. But stoked on that. I would happily stop fishing right now. Lost my sinker at the end when I was trying to drag him up. Seemed to wrap around the barnacles. But I'll... Um, Put one more on, we'll have another cast to see what else we can get. Whoa. Oh, there's a bird. Oh, another bird, another bird. Oh, I thought I had something bigger, just grabbed it. I was like, ah, snapper on again. No. But. Oh. All right, here we go. Ready to get bitten. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. If I get a... Ah, he's biting me on the side of the belly. That hurt. I'm just trying to let you go, mate. There we go. Fly free. Don't fly into my line again. Oh, he got me down here on the sensitive spot. I was fine with him getting me on the fingers. And then he got me on the side of the belly through the jumper and it caned. I was like, duh. All right, mission complete. Caught some good fish. Caught a bird. Let it go. Um, I'm going to pack up now. I think I'm just going to keep catching birds if I fish too long and I have enough fish to take home. So no point in hanging around any longer. And we got a hell of a way to get out of here. We'll see you guys when we're ready to leave. All right, we're ready to go. Rod's in the back, so they don't get damaged on the drag up. One heavy load there, much lighter load there. Attached to my rope. I'm here ready to climb out. I'm gonna put a second device on and just climb. And then when I get to the bolt up the top there, Sort of just as it's starting to lessen the angle i'll probably drag everything up there and that will be that Yew! we'll get it back up on it I don't have any slings on me, which is just annoying. 
So we're just going to back it up with a little couple of these fellas. I'll take that off. Well, you know what? I'm back it up with that. That'll do. That to that. There's my backup. Done. Well, there we go from here it's pretty easy it's kind of like just i'm going to do it in two loads we'll take the portal edge up and the rods on my back then i'll come back down and grab this guy and carry it up and then we're done and we just hike out to the car oh <sighs> puffed thanks heaps for watching everyone awesome little session got some good fish which is always nice and uh what a spot to sleep, man. Well, I woke up once or twice in the night and I was like, am I really here? Um, Mozzie's came in early hours of the morning when the wind dropped off and I've got my little Mozzie net up. Anyway, done, successful. Cheers, we'll see you on the next one.